Yo, what's going on dudes? My name is Tazza, welcome back. Another episode of my LA Angels franchise mode, and I'm be 13 the show today. Another one at Angel Stadium, today facing at the St. Louis Cardinals. Cardinals not doing as well as you might expect, but still doing pretty damn good. Angels still plowing along after a few defeats, a few plays on a bit on a on some cold streaks. And that's kind of something that we need to overcome at the moment is uh, his players getting off these cold streaks, starting to hit better. There's the lineup. For the Cardinals, obviously a lot to fear there. Holiday, Freeze, Jay, and obviously Yaddy. Um, but I'm not too worried. This game should be good. And um, CJ Wilson making the start for is a 4.4 4. 4 ERA, should I say. So not fantastic, but hopefully he'll be able to shut them down today. But with a bit of pressure on here, runners, uh, a runner at second, and he will come in off an RBI single. Not a great start to the game from Wilson. The throw home won't be in time. So an RBI single and the Cardinals get off to a good start here. Still in the first two outs though. Runner on first, still in trouble, but gets a swing and a miss from Freeze. And Wilson finally gets out of that inning. That was a bit of a hairy one. Not the way we want to start a game. Two hits there and a run. Yadi and Molina here in the top of the second with one out already. One two count for him. And that one he will look out for strike two. The two seamer just sneaks into the zone and then later in the inning, 0 2 count for Mason. Uh, Nelson, the slider gets just inside the zone as well. Another, <laughs> another cold strike three looking. Vernon Wells up here, bottom of the second gets a good base hit past short and third. That will put runners on the corners for the uh, sorry runners on first and second for the Angels. Mine's a little boggled, folks, because I haven't done a country in a couple of days and don't have for work. Uh, as is always the excuses that I give for these videos, but um, yeah. Hopefully, guys, tomorrow I should be able to post another episode of my COD walkthrough. But we will have to see how it goes. Howie Kendrick is the man in the box with one out bottom and second. And that is a, a hit straight to second. 4-6-3, double play. Ends the inning. Good defense from the Cardinals there. Chris Ionetta is the man in the box this time. Bottom the third, no outs. And that one will be knocked foul. Ionetta on a cold streak as of late, but doing better than some of the others. Obviously, uh, Matt Wainwright, I believe, is the man pitching for the Cardinals. That one will just get past second, though. And Chris Ionetta gets on with no outs to start the frame. So quite good from Ionetta there, seeing the ball well. And it's actually Westbrook that's pitching for the Cardinals. I do apologise, just seeing there. But Westbrook was on a hot streak when this game started, and that does not bode well for us. Donny Barrios coming in, and he is currently covering for Eric Ibar, who we are missing daily. Barrios just not able to fit into the Major League uh, plans just yet. He's a little bit young, but had to get called up to cover uh, the short position just for now. And he's batting at .091, so not good at all. 0-1 count for him as well. And that one will be chopped foul. Will it go into the crowd? No, able to hold on to that one. Carpenter gets that one easily. And that is Barrios out once again. A familiar sight so far. Peter Borg just playing at centre field today. And he comes in with one out. Ionet is still on first. He's not doing too bad as of late. But misses that curveball there just by the knees. And I really want to see an improvement from him. Um, obviously, in real life, he has been traded. Uh, he has gone to the Cardinals, funnily enough. Uh, so Freeze and Salas got swapped for Borges and someone else. I can't quite remember who. Um, but I think Borges will do well at the Cardinals and I hope he does well. Peter Borges is uh, a player I've really liked. This one from Borges goes deep, back to the wall, but caught by Holiday there. Ionetta going to have to scramble back to first. But yes, Borges has done well for me in this franchise series and he's a player that I like a lot and I hope he does well at the Cardinals. Um, but yeah, so far Vernon Wells has struggled a lot this season. Hamilton picking that one off. The throw home, will it be in time? No, it's just wide. Ionetta not able to apply the tag. And another run comes in. Yadi Molina struck out in the second. Wilson kept in quiet so far. Top of the fourth with two outs. A runner on third. Yadi could do some more damage to that lead here. That one will go foul off Molina. Obviously one of the best catchers in the National League. Probably the best catcher in the National League. Obviously, Buster Posey is pretty good as well. But Molina, an absolute animal, but with a no one count here, a slider is too far inside, even to the count at 1 and 1. So maybe try and do a cut fastball in at the knees. That one goes for a ball as well. It's a 2 1 count for Yardy. Seeing the ball well here. 
That one just gets in the zone though. Cut fastball not where it was intended to be pitched. Sneaks into the zone anyway. Well, lucky for Wilson there. The count is at 2-2. Two and two. Maybe try and do the same thing again with a cut fastball. That one chopped foul. So Wilson doesn't want to wear himself down too much here. He needs to get him out quick. Going to go for a slider through the middle. And that would work a full count. Molina here seeing the ball so well. Going to go for a two-seamer high up and inside. And that one will go deep back to right field. Is Hamilton underneath it? He is. Gets the out to end the inning. So yeah, like I said, Borges has done well in my franchise. Player a lot, a lot and he's young. Uh, Vernon Wells has not been doing very well or been very inconsistent and he's getting old so I'm thinking it's time to trade him um, maybe move Borges over to left field um, who knows or it could end up picking up another left fielder but I think Vernon Wells is more of a trade commodity to pick up maybe a third baseman and a relief pitcher rather than go for a big money left fielder this one though goes foul uh, it goes to right again sorry Hamilton underneath it once again to get the out and end the frame a good defence from Hamilton so far today. Mike Carpenter up now. Top of the six. Big jump here. And on the first pitch he sees at the top of the six, that one will be driven deep to right. That one is gone. Big right centre field home run, and that will end the day for Wilson. So in comes Garrett Richards here. Not amazing stats so far, but hey, he can't be doing worse than Wilson. Giving up three runs so far today. Facing Matt Holiday now. 1-0 count. A slider here, no outs in the six. That one just stays just within the zone. Low to Seema, out of the zone again. So Richards not getting his positioning right here. Hopefully, try and get a change up in the zone to even the count. Looked at by Holiday for two and two. Go for a four Seema to the top inside part of the plate. Not able to check his swing. Strike three. Richards gets the first out. Maybe a start of good things to come. Can we shut down the Cardinals from now on? And can we come back from this three-run deficit? Gary Richards here in a bit of trouble. Still in the six. Yadier fouling that one off. He has an 0-2 count. There is two outs, but a runner on first. So trouble potentially for Richards. Going for a change-up. Looked at by Yadier Molina. Keeping him quiet today. He's the guy you've got to be worried about. So far, we've managed to keep him quiet between Wilson and Richards. Still, that home run slightly overshadows it. So after a poor, after that good inning, sorry from Richards, he didn't start off the seventh well, and I had to bring in Kevin Jepsen here. So runners on first and second for Jepsen, no out, so a bit of trouble potentially. That two seam were not able to sneak into the zone. One one count for John Jay. Slider across the middle, swung on and missed. A one two count here. Can uh, Richards start to shut them down? That one will go as far as second, 4-6-3, double play. And that will get two outs. Jepsen, though, getting a bit of help there from his defence. That was needed to start a, you know, a shutdown rally. Luckily, Jay was only able to get that as far as Howie Kendrick. Barrios didn't mess up there. Not great with the bat, but good defensively so far. Paul Hall's able to hold on to make sure they get the out. Raphael, Raphael Fercal here, if that's how you pronounce his name, I'm not sure. Gets 1-0 count to start, the, to start his at-bat. That one chopped foul, evens the count of 1-1. One one. Jepsen looking to shut it down here with a short slider. That one goes straight to Borges in centre. All he's got to do is wait underneath it. And easily taken by Borges to end the inning. So, still down by three runs here. The Angels not putting many hits together. Four hits throughout seven. And with one out in the bottom of the seventh, Paul Hall steps into the batter's box today. Swung and missed by the curveball. Lot of strikeouts uh, so far for the Angels. That is why there is not a lot of energy used through seven. But Paul Hall drills this one to deep left field. Back to the track goes Holiday, but gone for Paul Hall. Big home run, and maybe this is the start of the rally to bring the Angels back from this three-run deficit. Because now the deficit is only two, thanks to that big fly ball there. Albert all over the board. Westbrook giving up a big hit there. Cardinals did not need that here. Maybe this gives us a chance to come back into the game. Big ball from Pujols. And now in steps Mark Trumbo. Designated hitting today because Pujols is at full health so he doesn't have to play first base until he's tired. And that one 
will be chopped foul by Trumbo. So still only one out in the inning here, but an 0 one count for Trumbo, not starting himself off great. No runners on. Well, this one drilled deep to left as as well over the bullpen. Holiday knows that's gone. Trumbo knows it's gone. Trumbom to cut down the deficit to one, and the Angels are not out of this by a mile. Two big at bats there. Bullholz and Trumbo go back to back for home runs. Absolutely incredible. Goodbye baseball indeed. This game is back on. Thanks to the two first basemen playing here today. So she's happy. No wonder his team potentially coming back here. Molina disappointed obviously. Vernon Wells will step into the batter's box next. But look at this absolutely massive trum bomb. Everyone knows that was gone. So Wells grounded out. Obviously like I said earlier he's not doing well. So in steps Howie Kendrick. Can he make it three? Swing and a miss on that slider. Way out of the zone. Shouldn't be swinging on that at all. 0-1 count for Kendrick. Can he complete the three? Not going to be fooled by that sinker though. That's way too low. No one's going to be fooled by that. 0-1-1 count for Kendrick. Here's the pitch. And this one drilled deep to right. Has it gone? No, that bounces just off the wall. Kendrick going to go ahead and make it to second. A double for Howie Kendrick here. And all it needs now is a good base hit. And Kendrick can come home. Big double there. Big clutch moment. And obviously the Cardinals are going to make a change. Good game so far from Westbrook. Just given up too many in the seventh. But it's about time we were able to break him down. And in comes Edward Mujica. 2.45 ERA. That is good. And in steps Chris Ionetta. A man who's not been doing too bad. Technically on a cold streak, but not doing bad indeed. And that one will drop down in centre field. Just the base hit we were on about. Kendrick goes home. The throw home is not in time. Molina not able to apply the tag. This game's all tied up. Chris Ionetta with an RBI single there. And we have ourselves a brand new ball game. Absolutely fantastic. Exactly what I said. All we needed was a good base hit. And that is what Chris Ionetta was able to deliver. So in steps Ernesto Frieri in the top of the eighth. With a runner on second. But he gives up a home run here. Will it go? Will it go? Gone. Yeah, he gives up a home run. This is not what we expect from free area at all. He should be contending for that closest position if Ryan Madsen is blowing saves. Sadly, Ernesto Freire gives up a two-run home run. So the Cardinals take the lead back here. Five to three. No outs in the inning. Freire shaken. Able to get the count to 0-2 though. David Fries is the man in the box. So a four-seamer high inside. Swung on a miss. Freire gets the first out of the inning. But it could be too little too late. Have the Cardinals got the momentum back that they need. They go for a two-seamer down the middle here. Looked at for strike one. Carlos Beltran, a very good outfielder. Very good with the bat as well, but chops that foul for 0-2. Going to go ahead and try the same tactic. A four-seamer high and inside. Not swung on this time, though. 1-2 the count. Can he get a two-seamer to sneak into the zone, though? Swung on a miss. Doesn't matter. Beltron goes down, and that is back-to-back -back strikeouts for Frieri. 0-2 count here to Molina. Kept quiet today, but no, he deals one deep to left field. And Vernon Wells not able to reach over and get that one. Molina kept quiet all day, and then we were not able to shut him down this time. So three runs to come back here. Bottom of the ninth. They bring in their closer. No outs. Can Trumbo start another rally? Not a great time to fall behind again. Swung and a miss that cut seamer. That cut for seamer. 0-1 count for Trumbo. Late swing there for Trumbo. 0-1 count. Here comes the pitch. Cut seamer. <laughs> cut fastball. Not swung on this time. 1-1 one, one the count. This is where we really need Trumbo to step up and be that big power hit we all know he can be. That one shot only down the centre. Will get on base though. So a home run here will bring us within one. And lucky for Trumbo there. He wasn't caught out. That was a good dive from the shortstop. Vernon Wells here. Only one for three on the day. Very poor performance so far. We need him to come through clutch here. So no outs with Trumbo on first. And that two seamer not swung on by Wells. Oh, no count for him. Not a lot of pitches here for the closer. But three is enough. As long as it's placed in the right place. Swung on a miss, that high four-seamer though. 98 miles an hour as well. That is tough to keep up with. 
one one count for Wells. Two three four average for Wells, not fantastic, but could be better. This one will only go as far as third. A five four three double play. The Cardinals are one out away from taking this game here. And very poor from Wells. Kendrick though, can he repeat the performance he gave in the seventh? Big base hit would be needed here. So here's the pitch, not swung on. That two seamer just getting outside of the zone. Lucky for Kendrick there. 1 0. Here is the pitch once again. That one only goes as far as short though. 6 3. That's the game. Cardinals deserve that win there. Did well to fight back after the Angels did well to fight back as well. And an all round good game. But very unlucky for the, for the Angels here. Cardinals well deserved. So. If you enjoyed this video, folks, please leave a like. Uh, leave me some topics for my Call of Duty Ghost commentaries. Uh, yeah. Now leave a like if you enjoyed. If you didn't, don't worry. Subscribe if you haven't already. That's how to get player of the game. And I love you all, dudes. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.